how do I become me? I know that sounds like a bit of a silly question because you're always you in some sense, but it's one I heard somebody ask one time, how can I become myself? And if you stop and think about it, there's a lot of this kind of language around today. There's a lot of people who are in the process of trying to uncover something about themselves, to reveal something about themselves, to unearth something that's buried deep down in their heart or something like that. This is common talking around things like sexuality and sexual orientation. So the question then is an important one. How do I become me? Well, when it starts for us Christians is in the Lord and what he does for us. The very most foundational part of our identity is as a redeemed sinner, somebody who has been brought from being one of the unbelieving masses into the kingdom of God through the work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, that starts and is built on the death of our Lord Jesus. When he laid down his life, he earned salvation for us and for all people. But how did that become mine? Well, the Holy Spirit has given that to you. He handed it to you in your baptism. When you were baptized, you were marked with water in the Word, and you were there made into a Christian, adopted into the household of God, and you were given life and salvation in the forgiveness of sins. But it didn't stop there. Because after you were baptized, you were brought to the church to hear the word of the Lord preached and taught. And there you learned the mind of God and the things he wanted you to know and how to live your life and what to believe about him. And in so doing, that molded you to think and act and believe like a Christian and also imparted to you again that same saving forgiveness, that same saving reality won for you by Jesus. It was reinforced every time your sins have been absolved. You are then again given the same saving death of our Lord Jesus Christ, applied to you fresh to remind you and to blot out any sins that have ever come so that you would know for sure where you stand in the courts of heaven and in the courts of all eternity. And of course, you receive it in the Lord's Supper. Because in the supper, you receive the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus, that same body and blood that was given into death on the cross for you and for your salvation is put into your mouth so that you are in the most personal of ways united to your Savior, Jesus Christ. You commune with him. And in these ways, God has built for you an identity, a foundational identity that is unassailable, that cannot be attacked or dismantled or taken down because it hangs not on us, but on the Christ who died for us. So you are a Christian, made so by Jesus Christ, given the gift of faith to hold on to and enjoy these benefits. And no matter what else may be stripped away from you in this life, you cannot lose those things that God has done. He's done it. He ensures it, and he's made certain that they will last. 